From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Kazalagash, a typical sleepy Kazakh village. But last year, this rural community was brought to its knees following one of Kazakhstan's worst disasters in decades. On March 10, 2010, its dam burst after a buildup of water from melting snow and rain. It unleashed torrents of water, leaving 45 people dead, 300 injured, and hundreds of homes in ruins. As the floodwaters rose, Birkinju Magulov and his family were trapped in their home. We were frightened. We were trying to calm each other down and reassure each other. When the water started coming in, we had to put our daughter and granddaughter on top of the wardrobe for their own safety. The dam was completely swept away. Its private owner was sentenced to five years in prison for failing to maintain it. Twelve months on, the village has been totally rebuilt and hundreds of new homes have gone up for the survivors. The mayor, Saul Amanova, says that lessons have been learned. The main reason that the dam collapsed was that it was in private hands. No repairs had been done. There were no checks, and it has been neglected. The failure of the dam in Kazakhstan underscored the importance of maintaining aging Soviet-era dams. In Central Asia, there are more than a thousand dams providing water for irrigation, energy, and household use, many of them in need of repairs and modernization. The United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, or UNECE, has been working with governments to promote dam safety, particularly on dams like this one in Kyrgyzstan, built on rivers flowing to neighboring Kazakhstan. Bo Liebert from UNECE. The Kyrgyz dam is of concern because it's close to the border of Kazakhstan and close to a very large city. So if anything would happen to the Kyrgyz dam, there would be uh, great consequences downstream. If the Kirov Dam failed, the Kazakh city of Taraz, home to nearly half a million people, would be hit by a 55-meter wave. Following the revolution in Kyrgyzstan last year, rumors that the dam had collapsed prompted a mass exodus from the city. People were panicking from 6 in the evening until 2 in the morning. They were climbing onto roofs. I learned about it at 2 o'clock in the morning. As it was too late to leave, I just stayed at home. The rumors were untrue, but Sirkabai Tapiev from Taraz City Council said the authorities immediately sprung into action. The governor of the province spoke on TV to reassure people in the city. Thanks to the UN Economic Commission for Europe, there was a group of independent experts who inspected the dam and said there was no cause for concern. The dam was safe. At the request of the Kazakh and Kyrgyz authorities, the UNECE facilitated the inspection, bringing together and securing funding for the team of experts. Bo Liebert says UNECE will particularly help to improve monitoring of the dam. Our recommendations to make the Kyrgyz dam safer is to, first of all, to install sensor, and secondly, to link these sensors together in an information system that would make it accessible for the Kyrgyz side, who are the owners of the dam, as well as the Kazakh side. Cooperation on dam safety benefits upstream and downstream countries. All five Central Asian republics are working actively together to ensure that people in the region live in safety. This report was produced by Claire Duell for the United Nations.